Question 15. Calculate the present value of an annuity in which $1,200 is invested at the end of every year for 10 years and interest is paid annually at a rate of 5% per annum. Answer to the nearest dollar. The first thing I'm going to do is to consider the future value of the annuity. Now $1,200 is invested at the end of each year, not at the start. That means that the first contribution of $1,200 is actually going to sit in the bank for 9 years, not 10. It's going to earn 5% per annum compounded over a period of 9 years. So the future value of the first contribution of $1,200 is 1,200 times 1.05 to the power of 9. Now the second contribution of $1,200 is going to sit in the bank for 8 years since it's deposited at the end of the second year. So its future value or its contribution to the future value of the annuity is 1,200 times 1 1.05 to the power of 8. The third contribution, its future value is 1,200 times 1 1.05 to the power of 7 and so on, right up to the 10th contribution, which is done at the end of the 10th year. But it'll attract no interest since it's immediately withdrawn. Now, factorizing out 1,200 from this expression here, we get future value is equal to 1,200 times 1 1.05 to the power of 9 plus 1.05 to the power of 8 plus dot 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 plus 1. Now, what's in brackets here is a geometric progression where the first term is 1, if you read it backwards, the common ratio is 1.05 and there are 10 terms, so n equals 10. So using the sum of a GP formula, we get future value is equal to 1,200 times 1 minus 1.05 to the power of 10 over 1 minus 1.05, and that equals $15,093.47. The next step is to determine the present value, and we're just going to use the compound interest formula. So the future value here, so $15,093.47 is equal to the present value times 1.05 to the power of 10. Rearranging this formula to make the present value PV the subject, we get present value is equal to 15,093.47 divided by 1.05 to the power of 10, which equals $9,266.08 which rounds to 9,266 correct to the nearest dollar. Therefore, the answer is option B.